Happy Monday, it's Eric Plantenberg. Lots of times throughout the course of life, there's a choice to make. And then lots of times there's no choice to make at all. And it's very important and very powerful to be able to navigate the choices that you have and then let go of the things that you have no choice over at all. I was really reminded of this this last week, Dr. Peter Johnson, who I talk about in my TEDx presentation, had a really powerful and a remarkable experience. He was out on his road bike, uh, out in the country, and having a great bike ride, and the next thing he knows, he wakes up in the ambulance. And he doesn't know if he was struck by a car or if he just lost control of his bike. It seems like he was hit by a car because his bike frame was snapped in two places. Now, Peter is a surgeon, and right now he has two broken arms. So you can just imagine the, the challenge that that brings into all areas of his life. And when I talked to him on the phone, the first thing that he was talking about, in, a, in addition to you know the challenges and just telling me the story, is the, the gratitude that he feels. You know, A, he's still alive. B, he's been catching up on reading. C, he's been spending a lot of quality time with people. And every single day of our lives, we have choices and then we have things that are, that are not choice. Uh, the weather is not a choice. The accidents that happen are not a choice. Uh, this week, I have a really remarkable, powerful experience happening in my life in that I'll be sentenced by the judge for committing the crime or pleading guilty to the crime of failure to fight income tax. And at this point, I have no choice. I might end up in prison for a couple of years and I might be sent home on probation and I really have no choice in this matter at this point. So whether it's my situation or Dr. Johnson's accident or whatever's going on in your life, there's always a moment where you can choose gratitude. I know that for me, I'm really grateful for all of the things that are working well in my life, whether it's the people or my physical health or just the, the goodness that surrounds. So my invitation to you is to take a little bit of time and really categorize what don't you have choice over, what is just gonna happen, whether it's the weather or other people's actions or just the, the things that happen. And then what do you have an incredible amount of power over and that's what are you grateful for, where is your focus. Consider that this week. Any questions or comments, post it. And above all, be free.